Smash Brothers is going to have newcomers. Every single game has had one. From the first one to ultimate, every single game has a new character. Today, we're going to be taking all of Ultimate's new characters and ranking them based on how I feel about them. I think Sakura I only put Daisy in Smash is because Daisy was just popular and everyone's been wanting her since she was a skin in Melee. And now she's here and I don't really feel anything about her in the game. She's just the color squab from Melee and that's about it. This reveal was really downplayed by the fact that it got leaked on accident a day earlier. In case you don't know, a music track from Galaga was accidentally named Bloody Tears and Monster Dance from Castlevania. And that basically revealed that Castlevania characters were going to be in Smash. And then the next day this was revealed. I don't feel anything as well from Simon and Richter as I do with Daisy. Um, I just don't feel anything. The only reason it's higher than Daisy is because, you know, Simon and Richter are cooler. Because at least they have an original moveset. At least Simon does. Richter is almost just a carbon copy of Simon. Except his down B has aura properties instead of fire. Which I guess you could say makes it better because it does damage to red Pikmin. But other than that, they don't really feel all that special to me. Plus, they kill Luigi in this trailer. Why would they do that? Seeing that stage and that shoe, the sword, and the emblem made us realize, God damn it, another Fire Emblem character. Chrom joined Ultimate. He was supposed to join in Smash 4, but was replaced by an ultimately better choice of Robin. And God damn it, why didn't they just leave him in the dust? Chrom is lame. Chrom is another Fire Emblem character. He's everything that a Smash fan does not want. We had enough Fire Emblem characters as is, and as you know, we get more. And I don't know why they had to put another clone in Smash. Sure, he has an original Final Smash and some moves that are from different characters, but he's basically just a rep for everyone. And that's really lame. I think we all cried in our seats as we realized that that giant ball of flame was not the one and only Shadow the Edgy Hedgehog, but rather Incineroar. <laughs> Incineroar scared us. And he scares me now because of how strong he is. Incineroar has a wrestling motif, which is something Sakurai brought up. And it's something we don't usually see, and I think that's cool. I like his side B, and I like his down B. Revenge. Revenge is a cool move to use, especially when you pair it with side B. And it does massive damage, almost breaking the hundreds. It can break the hundreds if you use correct moves on him, and it can break 100 and 50% if you truly try hard enough. And his final smash is pretty cool. It's based off of a Z move from Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I think he's pretty pumping. When we all saw that ink splatter, we really had no idea what was going on. A Splatoon movie? A Splatoon remake? It was really up in the air as to what this trailer was all about, especially after we got that. And there's one more thing we'd like to show you at the end of the Nintendo Direct. We never really knew what was going to happen. All of us just assumed it was either a remake or a movie. And that's what I thought. I thought it was just going to be a remake on Switch because Splatoon had gotten suddenly popular for some reason. But then, turning around, we all saw and did this. Super Smash Bros. was finally coming to Switch after almost a year of the Switch being out, if not more than that. And it basically confirmed that we had Mario, Breath of the Wild Link, and Inklings to look forward to. And with all those shadows in front of the ultimate sign, we never really knew what was going to happen. All we knew is that it was going to happen, and it was going to be amazing. When I saw this trailer... I didn't know what to think of it. I thought it was going to be a story mode with Samus, Mario, and Mega Man, and I got pumped. A story mode in Smash after a game skipping out on it? It was going to be pretty cool as to what they were going to do. But then Mega Man just kind of died, and then the same thing happened to Mario. And I was like, okay, well I guess it's a story mode with Samus and Cappy. 
And then, a little bit after that, I realized that I was a big, dumb, stupid idiot. I realized that Ridley wasn't Smash, and I just clapped. Honestly, Ridley was going to be a pretty cool addition. I heard about the fact that there are people who really wanted him in, and people who didn't really want him in. I was kind of in the middle on that. And so, seeing this was like, okay, cool, we got a new character. I'm not going to play as him. I did a few times, and I thought he was alright. Didn't really think much. Didn't really get into Metroid until after this came out. And from one Metroid rep to the next, Dark Samus joins the battle. And she's way better than the character she got lumped with. Krom is just Fire Emblem the character. Dark Samus is Dark Samus. She's cool. She has edited animations, different taunts, different ways of movement. Animations, I guess. And she's had edits to her to make it look like, you know, Dark Samus. Instead of Krom just being Roy and Marth in the same character. You could get rid of Krom and nothing would change. Getting rid of Dark Samus would be a little different. Seeing this trailer made a lot of Grinch leakers either rejoice or be scared. Because a lot of people thought this basically confirmed that Ken was his own character. But nope. Back to Ken, he joined Smash. That's pretty cool. I don't really play Ken. I don't really think he's all that interesting. I do think that Thumbs Up Ken, the Twitter account, is really funny, and I think his Thumbs Up Taunt and Victory animation are even funnier. Ken is just Street Fighter, and he's here, and there's not much we can really do about that. His final smash, one of them, is pretty cool, and honestly, I think that the Grinch leak kind of downplayed it a little bit, but not that much. Seeing Isabel in this office made half the internet shake. Or all of it, I guess. Half of it was saying, Woo! Animal Crossing! And the other half was saying, Woo! Smash! I was going for Smash, because I like Smash. Um, I thought that Isabel was going to join, and I thought, Ooh, Isabel is joining. Coolio! That's epic! She got delayed, so that was kind of upsetting. But that's okay, it had a good reason. There was an earthquake in Japan, and you know how that goes. In fact, she's the only character in Smash to have their reveal delayed, and one of the only characters to not have her final Smash in her reveal trailer. I bet you didn't know that, but I did. Don't ask how. Seeing Isabel turn around with that card and yell, They want me in Smash? Was pretty pumping. Isabel turning over a new leaf and joining Smash was alright, I guess. Um, of course, she is pretty cool. I do like her as a character and I play as her a lot. I like her fishing net, or fishing rod, whatever you want to call it, just don't hurt me. Um, she's, a she's an original character, so that's pretty cool. And... Her reveal alongside an Animal Crossing game, which I have bought and have played, is pretty cool. I didn't really think they'd reveal an Animal Crossing game, but they went and did it. And that's pretty pumping. Hey, what's this? Luigi? You doing alright? There's a green shell right there. Yoshi's? Wait, wait, wait. Mario at? Gino! New Gino's coming to Smash, guys! It finally happened! Gino! It's Gino. Come on, Mario's gonna wait. Okay, no. Piranha Plant's gonna attack Gino because he's an assist trophy. And then Gino's gonna come out of nowhere and be like, bro. Come on. Come on. Wait. What was that? What? 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 And that right there was the internet's reaction to Piranha Plant coming from the warp pipe 
and joining Smash. And honestly, I like Parada Plant a lot. He's a complete out of this world character that nobody expected, and yet here he is. It's weird, and I like it a lot. Sure, I mean, I wanted Geno, but this is even cooler, honestly. Mario, Piranha Plant? How did that even happen? Sure, a lot of people were going to say P Piranha, but him being in his final smash instead honestly makes a lot more sense to me. I like Piranha Plant. He's cooler than Geno. Don't at me. That was a pretty cool- <gasps> Another character? Or maybe it's a story mode. It could be a story mode. Or maybe it's another Metroid rap? I mean, we just got Ridley. So why would we get another one? I mean, wait a minute. Is that the one and only? DK Donkey Kong. Alright, are we getting a new Donkey Kong rep? I mean, it could end. Banjo, maybe? Maybe Banjo, since they're both owned by Rare? Or maybe even, maybe even... <gasps> King K. Rool. Could it be King K. Rool? King K. Rool. Come on, that thump I know anywhere. It's gotta be, it's him, it's him, it's King K. Rool, it's King K. Rool! Oh, oh my gosh, King K. Rool, yeah! Did But King Dedede's already in Smash. I want, I want King K. Rool, I want King K. Rool. Come on, give me King K. Rool, come on. That's gotta be, that has to be the real deal. That has to be King K. Rool. It's King K. Rool! Yes! It's him! He's finally in! He's in, King K. Rool! Yes! That right there was a pretty accurate representation of how I felt when I noticed my boy King K. Rool was in Smash. King K. Rool is one of my favorite Disney villains of all time, except he's not a Disney villain. But he might as well be, because of how good he is. King K. Rool is awesome. I love him and his games, even though he's only in like 4 or 5. And then that's gotta be... <gasps> is, that, is this Final Smash? What is, <gasps> DK! Donkey Kong! He's the leader of the bunch! You know him well! And he's finally back to get some tail. Banana! Seven! Woo! Yeah! King K. Rool. Sorry for the long hiatus there. Uh, got a job recently, so, you know. Stay tuned for the next video.